Hello everybody, my name's Paul Tace. In this video, we're gonna be looking at the return to home feature in a bit more depth. And we're also gonna see what happens when our remote runs out of battery. Let's get started. So I recently got asked a question by uh, Kurt Chase asking what happens if the controller battery goes flat whilst the drone is still flying. So what I've decided to do is make a video about um, the return to home and I'm also going to go over what happens when the remote does run out of battery or in the case of me testing it, what happens when you actually switch the remote off. I feel this is important to know because it could potentially save your drone one day. And just in case you're wondering, my daughter really wanted to come along and fly the drone with me so I let her come along too. So the first thing I wanted to do is actually test the return to home and see what happened under different conditions. So what I've done is I've set the return to home altitude to 15 meters. And then I found a nice quiet place in the park and I'm gonna test a few ideas. The first one is to start off below the return to home point and then obviously click the return to home button. And I just see what it does. And as you'd expect, it raises to the return to home height and it flies towards you. Now you can cancel this by tapping the X on the screen. You can also control the drone to a certain extent whilst it's still trying to land and moving around. So obviously if you're watching it, it's gonna hit a tree. You still have got some control to swerve around and you can stop any potential collisions. The next thing I wanted to test is if you were above the return to home height, would it lower down or would it stay where it is? Now, as you can see on screen, I'm 25 meters in the air, which is 10 meters above my return to home height, and it stayed up high. And it's come straight back to me, as you would expect, but it has stayed at the higher height and not dropped down to the 15 meters. Now, I'm guessing this is probably because if you've had to go that high, there may be something you've had to go over, which you hadn't accounted for in the return to home settings. Now, overall, I don't think this is gonna be a bad thing. It's just something we need to bear in mind. So just let you know here the footage is shaky because I didn't set the gimbal properly before I took off, but it will sort itself out in a minute. Now auto return to home will kick in when your battery decides it needs to start turning back to get home in time. Now this doesn't take into account the wind, so if you've flown a long way away um, with the wind behind you, if you try flying into the wind, you may find you won't make it back to the home point, so just bear this in mind if you're flying over water or somewhere you can't retrieve your drone. It'll also kick in if you go too far out of range and you lose your reception. It will stop transmitting for 10 seconds and then automatically return to home. Now, if your Mini is already close to you, when it gets to 20%, you'll get the warning that's on the screen now. This is just telling you that the battery is low and it advises you to come home or start thinking about returning. And at this point, it is a good idea to start coming home. As your battery loses charge, you'll actually lose power in the drone. And uh, although you can't see it from this footage, the drone was wobbling quite a bit and struggling in the wind, and it's gonna find it harder to get back to you safely. Now, I decided to ignore this warning and then see what happens. And when the battery got to 7%, I got a message telling me that it was automatically gonna return home in 10 seconds, unless I press the cancel button. Battery level is low, the aircraft will go to the home point in 10 seconds. So I decided to press the cancel button. And then I decided to see how long it would be before it decided to force a return to home. Now at this stage, I still had control over the aircraft and I could move it side to side and up and down and still use all the controls. However, the drone was starting to wobble around quite a lot. Then when I got to 5%, I got a critically low battery. Critically low battery. So at this point, I've cancelled the return to home and it's decided it's going to try to land where it is. Uh, I can only confirm to do this. Land critically low battery. So as we can see on screen, I can't even tap to cancel the landing. It's just going to try landing without my input at all. However, I can still actually use the remote and I can push up and still guide it around, even though it is trying to land. So I decided to do this for a while and see what would happen. Now, it did actually take a while and I have cut a few seconds out of this piece of footage, but when the battery finally got down to 1%, it told me it was gonna land regardless. And at this point, I had no control. Critically low battery. And the drone just decided to land exactly where it was. Critically low battery. So obviously, if you're over water, this is gonna be an absolute disaster. So just be really careful of wind direction if you're anywhere you can't retrieve your drone. Now the last thing I wanted to test is what would happen if your controller ran out of battery. Now I did this just by turning the controller off 
and um, as you can see it hovered in place for a while and I did expect it to return to home but then it slowly started to descend by itself and I had absolutely no control over this. Now it's worth mentioning that the remote does have significantly more battery than the drone itself and I've always got six or seven flights out of the drone before feeling the need to recharge the remote. Now it's also worth mentioning that when I turned the remote back on I regained full control of the drone but where it had landed in the grass it couldn't take off due to the grass in the propellers. Now as I thought it was weird it landed without the returning to home, I then decided to look into it a bit further and I found out that if you're further away, say 10 metres or so from return to home point, it will return to home if you disconnect the controller. If you're within a certain radius it will just land where it is instead of returning to home if you disconnect the controller. So on screen now you can see it returning to home after I disconnected the controller because I flew it a bit further away and tested it from a bit further away this time. Now the last thing I wanted to go over was the return to home buttons on the remote. Now this is because this could potentially save your drone one day. If you tap the RTH button as the drone is moving forwards, it will stop it dead where it is. If you press it and then hold it down again, the drone will return to home. If you then tap it again when it's returning to home, it will cancel return to home feature. So it's possible I could have saved my drone by tapping the RTH button in this instance. And should your phone battery die and you lose visual line of sight of your drone, you should still be able to double tap the RTH button and hold it down and get your drone home safely. So that's it for this video guys, I hope it helps and I hope to see you in the next one.